Hello. You may have seen this video that I created where I was creating a cartoon from moving images. I basically selected some sprite sheets and I created a moving GIF. And with that moving GIF, I then converted that to an AVI, AVI file and used a video compositor like Wax2 to actually make my cartoon. This video is basically the same as the first two parts, but instead of using Wax to do the video compositing, I'm going to use a different tool called VSDC because the image, the GIF or AVI image that I use, I wanted to be able to move around on the screen. And I didn't find that the transform tool worked that well for me with Wax 2. So you'd need to look at this video to see how to actually do the first two parts of this. But if I go to VSDC free video editor, What I can do is I can start a new project, <clears throat> create a blank project, and I'm going to add an image, I'm going to add a cartoon image, this cartoon image I actually created with Bryce, click OK, left click on the mouse, just put it there, over here, properties window, set the size of this the same as the parent so that's what it was when it came over so I've got my background and what I want to do is I want to create my little image on here but I want to be able to place it anywhere in here so what I did was if you look at the first video I used dark function and I used virtual dub the two programs free programs to actually create the file the AVA file I put through Windows Movie Maker and then I slowed it down in there just, just to slow it a little bit more. You may, may or may not want to do that. But I'm going to add a video. I'll go to videos. And here's my recorded Bugs Bunny. Click OK. Now, there he is. <clears throat> Now in Wax 2 it's centered it in here, so I might I might want to move it over here somewhere. Or I might want to move it over there. Similarly, I may actually want to change the size of it somewhat. So let's put in there. I need to click on this bit here, video here. Go into editor, go into video effects, go to transparent, background remover. And if I click the properties, I will get the colour from my scene, which uses this picker here. Click on the black, there he goes. So now, if I go to projects and I preview the scene, I now have my GIF image or AVA file here where I want in the scene. So I found that a bit bit more preferable to wax. And all you have to do after you do that is if you go to projects, you just export your project and you'd export that to an AVI file. And convert your file. And it would then create the file that you want. So it's probably a bit confusing but probably a little bit confusing for you, but uh, I hope it made a little bit sense. Certainly look at the other video just to see what was going on. So thank you for watching.